How's it going everyone? My name is Koros from Digital Rain Gaming and today we're playing Star Drive which is a 4x strategy game uh, that I'm, I'm a pretty huge fan of. I've played a few games of this, uh, not many very seriously, but I mean I kind of know what I'm do talking about I'd say. So we'll go ahead and jump right in. Um, we're going to go ahead and play as the Opteris and I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of configuration because I do not like, I'll take Honest over Polluted Homeworld, nope. Polluted Homeworld, because, uh, uh, to be honest, Polluted Homeworld makes it so that you have to colonize quickly and then you have to deal with resources and spraying them over large distances, and it's not, it's not fun early on in the game. Later on, though, it's much better. We're gonna go with Epic and Abundant, seven opponents, normal difficulty. I also restore remove the restriction on game speed so I'll be able to move faster than four times I believe so we'll go ahead and engage jump right into the game we'll see that we have a flagship did I choose that? I didn't think I choose it but okay we're gonna send our drone scout to go explore the galaxy we're actually, actually, I know for a fact that my uh, perseverance, where that went, no, right here, there he is, is under my direct control. So what we want to do is we want to hit Q and then relinquish control and then make him orbit um, Opteris 3. So let's check out what kind of system we're looking at. We have uh, a Terran average planet right next to our capital. That's really nice, and it has a 17.1 population. That's really good. So we'll go ahead and colonize that as soon as we can. But for now, we're going to go ahead and start researching some stuff. I want to go with aeroponics. Oh, no, you know what? We're off terrace, which means I don't need to focus on food. Huh. I wonder if they thought about that when they implemented this like entire farming tree. Anyway, we're going to remove that. We don't need that. We're going to go with industrial foundations, and we're going to go straight into Corvette holes and some magnetic artillery. That'll be sick. We can get some mass accelerator weapons and stuff. Be able to blow stuff up. Then, so I got science going. Going to go ahead and increase the speed. Yeah, see, now I can go up to... I don't know, you know what, I should stop that. I don't, I sh I'll find out how high it goes later, but I just, <laughs> we'll just stick with times four for now. <laughs> We're gonna start building some freighters. Do I have, uh, I don't like the standard freighters because they don't have warp capabilities, which means they can't go from system to system uh, very quickly. So, ooh, let's check out what's in the system. We have, a non-inhabitable, a non-inhabitable, and a non-inhabitable. Fantastic. Anyway, as I was saying, the um, standard freighters don't have warp capabilities, and that's pretty key when you want to have a galaxy that, or uh, an empire that spans multiple systems. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the shipyard and pull out a creeper freighter and begin with the ship customization. So we're gonna going to start off with command. Do need a cockpit. I assume that is the, no, this is the front. Um, we need power, which we'll go ahead and get a medium. Uh, that should be good. I don't think storage needs, yeah, storage doesn't even need power. It's only the cockpit that needs power. So actually what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this more efficient by getting a power plant, nu two nuclear reactors down here. No, actually, you know what? Not down there. Up here. And then we can get uh, armor. No, not armor. We want engines. There it is. We want some warp engines. And we're going to need power conduits. So we'll do that. Now we can fit another thing of storage on here. Actually, you know what? Let's replace these. I want it to, do, to be fast inside and outside of warp so we're just going to get normal small engines as well uh we're going to save as creeper freighter one one 
save. So now when we go to our planet, you can see ships under freighter. We have Creeper Freighter 1. And we're going to make a lot of those. A lot. We're also going to make some... Did I discover? I discovered industrial foundations, which means if I go to buildings, I can make a rover bay, which is... Ooh, hyperspace flux. Okay, we're going to go ahead and build one of these first. I'll go ahead and rush that. Um, then we'll let that rover bay build. And the hyperspace flux is over. That's good. So now our scout can continue scouting. He's... Where is he at? Has he discovered any other systems? No. Doesn't look like it. All we have is the Amando system. What is that? Is that a system? I never don't really remember there being blue stars, but whatever. That could just be me being dumb. So... Now we're going to take this hive pod and we're going to colonize Opteris 1 because that's a Terran average planet. And that's really good to start off with two in the same system. Especially look at that population. That's bigger than our capital. So, uh, what's this? Yeah, we colonized. So now if we go here, you can see that we need to import. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And, oh no, wait, where's our freighters? Here's a freighter, so we're going to transport production. And this, we don't want to import, we want to export. So the freighters are actually going to pick up the production here and take it to Op Terrace 1. That way our colonists won't starve to death. And this one as well. We got Corvette holes. Okay, now we're going to start building up a little bit of a military because there are some factions out there that are not so nice. So if we pull out Cor Corvette, you can see, wow, that looks really cool. I'm not going to lie. I've never played as the Opteris before. That is really cool. Wow, wait. We don't have any, we haven't researched magnetic artillery yet. You know what? We're going to wait. We're going to wait till we get magnetic artillery to build a Corvette because I want some of that uh, mass accelerator cannons and stuff. I think that's in, let me see mass drivers and rail guns. Yeah, that's what they're called. I must be thinking of like Mass Effect or something. We're gonna go to economy. We're gonna lower this a bit because I don't use money much other than rushing and I just like to balance it at one so that way we get as much science and production from our colonies and stuff as we can. So we're importing. We have zero point. Oh, see, there we go. Now I'm gonna actually immediately rush for a warehouse because That'll increase how much the colony can hold, which is awesome because we need these freighters to uh, get production and stuff. There's the Perseverance, which is our flagship, which I believe is a... Ooh. Looks like we just finished Magnetic Artillery, so we're going to actually go into Energy Weapons and learn Shielding. That should take 96 turns. We can actually lower this, probably. I'm going to go into the Shipyard, pull out the Worker Corvette, and now we can see now we have, like, rail guns. And let's see, mass drivers. Can this fit anywhere? No, Corvettes can't have mass drivers. That's a shame. Um, power. We're gonna need a uh, medium nuclear reactor. I'd I'd say. Um, actually, you know what? Let's just armor this part right here. Oh, I can't. Shame. We'll go ahead and get cockpit. Put one right there. Power. Fuel cells? What? I don't even know what fuel cells do. I've never really used them. Probably should. Eh. Storage. Let's get some ordnance storage. We can work with that. And then let's get tons of... We already have those. Let's get... Can we fit any flak turrets on? No. Scout of... No. Flak. This one's smaller. No, we can't. So we'll just fill off... The rest with some uh, Vulcan cannons. Make this thing have tons of machine guns. That'll be awesome. Then we just need some engines. We'll go ahead and do combat thrusters. Actually, no. We'll do one combat thruster, one small engine, and two warp engines. And there you go. There's our worker Corvette. We're going to name that as... Uh, I don't know, worker one. 
save that, close out, and then we go here, and you can see that now we can go under Corvette, and we have Worker 1s. These are Worker Mark 1s, but what are these made of? What do these have? Yeah, these just use flax. I'm not a big fan of flax. I like mass drivers and rail guns. So we'll go ahead and add a few of these. Careful not to overstep my economy, because if I do, then we'll go into debt, and no one wants to go into debt, right? Colonies will start to go into resistance, and uh, that won't be fun for anyone. So we're going to go ahead and build a rover base, so that way we can make more production. See, now we're making 1.1. We have a steady population of 0 0.2, which isn't anything at all. But our freighters are slowly delivering. Ah, I turned down the audio for that noise, and it's still really loud. But I'm not going to change it again, because if I do, the game will crash, and then I'll have to start all over again. So, we have... Where's our scout? Has he found anything else? Oh, yes, he's been very busy. Let's see what's in here. A swamp average, and then an uninhabitable, I believe. Yep, and then he also discovered Caius, which has a lot of planets, actually. Um, oh. Oh, crap. Where's our scout? Where's our scout? Oh, he's there. I thought he was destroyed for a second. I was like, oh, man, we can't have that. Unexplored swamp, unexplored tundra unexplored volcanic and unexplored oceanic and then that so this this territory or this system right here has quite a bit of habitable planets i don't even have to uh i don't even have to uh you know get some biodomes on there well i mean i will have to later to get more space but i it's nice to have one of those systems nearby so you don't have to um research biodomes which can take quite a while actually So we can see down here that our first Corvette just, we're going to go ahead and tell them to or orbit off Terrace. Wait a second. I made three. Where's the other one? I was sure I made three Corvettes. There's a freighter. There's one and there's one and then there's one. Mil okay. Huh. That was weird. Must have just missed that. Oh, see now, see now we have uh, ship maintenance, which is 2.0, and right now we're only producing 3.7, but we're using 4.0, so we're going to have to jack the tax rate up a little bit. I want to be making money, but not so much that my science is inhibited because of it, because that's not good. So can I make anything else? No. What about over here? I can make a spaceport, which allows us to make ships. We'll go ahead and rush that. Even though we won't use that that much because it's a colony, and we'll do most... Ooh. Wow, that brought an entire building maintenance up by th one. Alright, we're going to have to be careful. But it looks like this colony is going well. We're, uh, we're making production, and our population is growing, so this colony is doing fairly well. I am pleased with that. We are... How's our scout doing? Did he... Oh. Uh-oh. I think our scout was just killed. Yep. Looks like we've got hostiles in that area. Well, we're going to have to move some troops over there eventually to take out the... I think the... Um, if, I, if it was any other uh, species, there would have been a, you know, like a demographic or a... Uh, Dem dem democratic not democratic what am I talking about diplomatic that's the word I'm looking for learn your words Koros we're going to there would be a diplomatic indicator saying that oh yeah we've met you and stuff pleased to meet you we're going to go ahead and go straight into frigates I want to be heavily military based and then we're going to build up some aeroponics scientific foundations military outposts stuff like that we'll also do missile theory and I, I want to... Opteris, when I find them, they're usually heavily militarized. And they usually, like, try to kick my ass unless I have a powerful enough military that allows me to scare them into not attacking me, I guess. So, I'm going to kind of replicate that sort of colony shielding. Ooh. 
Wait a second, does that mean... Uh, oh, I just researched shielding, and I should have put shieldings on my Corvettes. If I go to... They should be in defense, right? Yeah, classic shield. Yeah, that's really big. I, I think Corvettes aren't going to even use shields. At least not these ones. Not right now. Let's get some Opteris Warriors going. I want to be able to prepare, be prepared for everything. Over here, what are we looking at? Let's go ahead and queue that up. And let's also queue up some more freighters. I want some more. I want to be able to be, you know, have enough freighters to fuel a galactic empire. This is swamp average. I think that's what we're going to colonize next. I'm going to go ahead and queue up a colony ship over here. Ships, scouts, fighters, freighters. Hive pod, yep, that's it. Wait, what do the warriors look like? I've never actually ground invaded them. That's cool. Um, what else? Colony ships building. Capital population is peaked. I don't know if that's what it was like before. See, now we're producing science as well. Like, we can probably... No, I don't want to do that. It's not enough science gain. We'll go ahead. I want to lock these. So now if I lock these, I, I can't produce food. So it's not really, you can't really show it when you're cybernetic. But Oh, here's our colony ship. We're going to go ahead and tell him to begin colonizing the swamp average over here. With the, it has a only a population of 1.7, which means it... Can I look at it? We're looking... Alright, sorry about that. A little bit of a glitch there. A bit of lag. Tried stopping the uh, recording and turning it back on. And I think it fixed. But anyway, you, nothing, you didn't really miss anything at all. I mean, it was only a few seconds. Colony ship is going over to uh, a strength one. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. I don't know what this stuff is based off of, like, where they get these names. But they're pretty cool. I like Opteris. That sounds pretty sick. Um, how's our colony over here doing? I believe, is the colony growing? Hey, stop it. Oh, yeah, it's growing very fast, actually. Very, very fast. Okay. What, what's this? Oh, wow, we already got frigates. Uh, I keep forgetting that I'm at four times. Okay, so let's go ahead and build our first frigate model. Wow, I love the design of the Optera ship. Like, if you toggle overlay, you can see what it looks like. It, they look really sick. I like the Raleigh, though. They're kind of like, uh, uh, what's uh, Cthulhu type? I think they're pretty sick. They also worshipped, like, a Cthulhu-like god, which is pretty freaking awesome. But they're really hostile. I don't really like to deal much with them. So we're going to get tons of power, and we're also going to use shields. Because shields are nice then we're going to get a command we can get go for a bridge go ahead and do that um what else should we do power conduit so i can get this back further up and almost there there no there we go and then a little bit down here There we go. Now the entire ship has power, which is really awesome. We're gonna go ahead and get some engines. And wow, we have medium warp engine and medium engine. And then we'll go for small combat thrusters, maybe? No, we'll just go for small engines. One of each, actually. So it's nice and balanced. Then we're going to go for uh, my personally favorite, some weapons. Let's see, can I get a mass driver on here? Oh, that uses up a lot of space. I actually need to fix the power conduits. So, it looks like we can't fit any mass drivers unless I'm willing to. No, I'm not willing to do that. We'll just go for rail guns, because rail guns are pretty sick. Actually, you know what? No, get rid of that. I want some flak turrets right there. Twin flak turrets. Then I want some rail guns, more rail guns right here. And then we can fill the rest with 
Hmm. Let's go for some armor. Reinforced. Internal? No, can't do that. Yeah, we'll fill the rest with some Vulcan cannons. So it'll be like, doo doo, you know, on the wings and back here and over here. And what else? I, oh, you know what we need? I totally forgot about this. Small ordnance storage. We're actually going to get rid of these for some more ordnance storage. We'll also put some more right here. That should be enough. Should be okay. It'll, it might have to refuel. Oh, recharge. Crap, that's not good. See that right there? It's, we have minus 366 recharge. We're using more power than we're making, so we're going to have to just pop another power plant on there. See, now we're recharging, which means we can stay at warp without having to stop and recharge. That's good. We'll go ahead and name this as Soldier 1. The uh, default ships are nice, but I'm personally... I personally like to make my own ships and use them as my own. It's it's fun. We're going to go ahead and... Hold on. Wow. That's a much better ship design than mine. You know what? Maybe I should look into using default ships. Because <laughs> that's freaking awesome. Not Corvette. Frigate. Yeah, I'm going to use Storm Soldiers. I don't even know why I... Only two, though, because... Uh, I don't even know why I made <laughs> that frigate. Um, so we're, we're going to get those frigates built and, uh, then we're going to scout out this area where I believe there are the remnants because I didn't get a diplomatic notification that someone declared war on me. And so I just assumed that there's always remnants too. Gotta love the remnants. To be honest, I really don't love the remnants. Well, their technology is really nice. I like to steal them for their technology. Because they give you like the ancient shielding or whatever. The ancient reactors. Stuff like that. It's pretty sick.